My name is Juanita Soto Irene, and I was diagnosed with Sjogren's disease. It's an autoimmune disorder. I was diagnosed about two years ago. Well, my journey was a little bit difficult. Um, I began with a lot of um, digestive issues and it got to the point where I literally completely lost my voice for about a year and a half. Um, through that process, I had been seeing multiple doctors, even an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and they all were concluded that it was related to my um, acid reflux and where it kind of led to having really serious problems with my vocal cords. Um, and through that process, I was taking medication to solve the problem with acid reflux. Um, even though I resolved the problem, my voice was never still the same. My vocal cords were still, I was still struggling to speak. Um, and through all that, there was a lot of um, anxiety, depression, and just so many questions, so many whys, and I couldn't really get an, a full answer um, until I decided to really kind of press with my family doctor. And she, bless her heart, she actually listened to me and she did a full gamut of um, a full test on my body. And to her, um, to the results, I was then diagnosed with Sjogren's disease, and um, I had a lot of. Uh, problems with my eyes. I couldn't, um, they hurt to see. I couldn't even really go outside because the wind was really my enemy. Um, so it was very, <laughs> it was very hard. Um, but yeah, that's how I came about it. And um, that's how I was diagnosed. To be honest with you, it was an act of desperation. Um, I was uh, given at the time when I was diagnosed with Sjogren's, the, um, the doctor that um, was uh, I was working with, he pretty much told me that I had to depend on medication for the rest of my life and that I had to kind of deal with the symptoms, kind of live with them. And to me, that didn't feel right. I just felt like I couldn't live this way. Um, so through um, just looking through the internet and um, looking up my condition. I was trying to be more of my uh, doctor myself and trying to figure out what this was about and learning and how, to, how I could be live better. Having to be a family and having a family and having children and my husband and it was just um, something that I wanted to find more answers. And I found you guys, I found Progen Cell. I, it was interesting because it was probably the only website that actually had my condition listed as one of the um, uh, conditions that you deal with and that you help people with. So I was really uh, amazed and I started reading and reading about the doctors and the company and also the testimonials. The testimonials really helped as well. And um, I was blessed, it was like almost like a miracle. No, no, oh my goodness. I think it was all just just not knowing about it. It was more in my head, just being afraid of it. Um, but the procedure was extremely smooth. Um, it was just typical, you know, uh, needles, which is everybody kind of experiences that. Uh, but no, the process was very smooth. Uh, everything was explained to me. The doctors were amazing. They were very, they listened. They uh, communicated every process, every step. That I was going to experience um, with such great care that I was very impressed. I've never had that kind of care before. Coming from America is completely different, it's more robotic. So I felt really at ease, I felt at home, and the procedure was great. I mean, going to the dentist is probably worse. No, not at all. Um, everything they did explain that I could have, I could experience something, but nothing i experienced nothing just besides the little prick the needle in the back which was a little tender um, but even sitting down it didn't hurt for me i feel um oh, i'm sorry i feel great i feel like um, myself again and more better um, 
I feel like I can take on the world and I can think about my future and um, all the things that are coming that I want to do now that was never really um, an option before so I am I feel amazing I feel um, renewed I feel like a new woman and everything that every day that goes by I, I start noticing new things and I'm just so grateful and so blessed that I had this opportunity and this ama these amazing doctors and this treatment that's available. The travel was beautiful. Everything was very smooth. I think the way that you guys set up the whole process was is very professional, very safe. I felt very safe. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I'm almost embarrassed to say this. I'm, um, yo soy mexicana, and I even had um, you know images and uh, opinions about Tijuana, and it's completely the opposite. It's it's a it's my country. It's a beautiful place, and. Um, no one should really feel worried about uh, coming here. It's in a, this beautiful part of Mexico is advancing and I am just so pri privileged that I got to be here and witness how Mexico is um, evolving. To come here, um, oh my goodness, um, I feel like I have the condition, I call it the unicorn condition because it seems like it's not um, very well versed in, in America, especially with Sjogren's. Um, so to find a place that helps you with that particular condition, it's like finding gold. Um, so I would totally recommend everybody to come, meet with the doctors, have all your questions. They will answer everything, whether they're silly or um, advanced. I mean, they have the answers. They know the condition, they understand it, and, um, and if they don't, they'll get the answers um, but I would recommend everybody to come it's your life if you want to improve it you have the opportunity and it's here